Hey everybody, welcome to my bashful life. If you are new here, I'm Mickey, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. We are all about organizing life, family, cooking, decorating, and DIYs. Good morning everybody. Today is Tuesday, March 20th. I thought we would start off this first day of spring with an outfit of the day. No big surprise, my sweater dress is from Ann Taylor, along with the cardigan and the scarf. I have on my favorite black boots and I have on my new Stella and Dot earring. I am heading out the door and I will see you all back here after school. I have a quick little Target haul for you guys. Um, I ran to Target after school today and I came home, changed my clothes, and before I put everything away I wanted to show you. So I'm going to be making a beef stew tonight for dinner. We are supposed to be getting like 10 inches of snow starting tonight into tomorrow. So I thought a big pot of stew would be just perfect. So I got some stew meat, some celery, some carrots, um, a big old onion. I like these um, red potatoes for the stew because I don't even have to peel them. I just have to chop them up, which is great. I could not find beef broth, so I ended up getting some vegetable broth, which will be fine. It'll be just as tasty. And I got a 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. So I'm gonna put this all away and then I'm gonna show you what else I got at Target. So if you've followed me for a while, you know that I am on this quest to lighten up my house. And um, my project that I had in mind was my foyer. I will show you my foyer. So this is what my foyer looks like right now. Um, I bought this um, Anwar a couple years ago that I just love and I love the way that it really has brightened up the space and I really want to bring you know more of this brightness into the house so I have these rugs that I have had for the last several years I bought them at JC Penney's they have really worn like iron like most of the things I get from Penney's and I really thought they looked really nice with my little a skirted table here with the same fabric as my curtains in the living room but I really want to brighten it all up so let me show you what I got so at Target I found these rugs they think they were on sale they were only I want to say like $24 I bought two of them one for here and one for you know in front of my door and just with the change of the carpet lightening it up a bit has really brightened up the foyer and for my table skirt, I was able to find um, this curtain panel on clearance that I thought I would use to change out the skirt on this table. So this little table has been in the house for such a very long time. I'm talking like maybe 15 years or more. Um, this is really, believe it or not, a fish tank stand. And um, a couple years ago, we had said goodbye to our last fish, and I just like the way that it fit on this little tiny wall here in my foyer. So I chalk painted the top of it, kind of an off-white, and then I just added this fabric to make a really pretty um, table skirt, which I love skirted tables. I don't know if it's a th southern thing or what it is, but I just love it. But I thought to lighten things up, I would use this new um, fabric. So I think that's going to look really, really pretty. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to give this another coat of paint and give it um, a nice waxing to make it have a little bit of a sheen. And maybe I'll do a little video on that just to show you how easy it is to really transform a fish tank stand. So speaking of projects, I wanted to give you a look at what is going on in our family room right now. Um, as you can see, we are in the middle of painting my china cabinet. My, uh, we have been giving away the furniture in here piece by piece. This is the only thing that I have left really in here right now. I have finally ordered new furniture for this room. Well, at least I ordered a sectional. I was going back and forth on what I wanted and I really wanted something different um, so I ordered a sectional to go in this area right here and as you can see we are painting our china cabinet now we have had this piece for so many years and I've always loved it it's a little bit of a darker oak and it just in our opinion needed a little bit more of a refresh and a brightening up so we decided to chalk paint it which as you know I just want to chalk paint everything I really just love the way furniture looks when it's painted and we have been using 
our Annie Sloan paint, which is our favorite. This makes any project like this so much easier. You do not have to prep the furniture at all. You don't have to sand. You can just paint, and it's like a self-leveling chalk paint that gives it a really beautiful finish, and we use a wax to go over it to give it that furniture sheen. So this will probably take us another several days to complete the job and I will for sure show it to you when we are all done and I'll share the room once we get our furniture in. We're going to be getting um, some new carpet. I want to get a new coffee table and maybe another chair. I just don't know what I want yet so I'm just going to take my time to make sure that I'm happy with everything and I will share it with you along the way. So I wanted to show you this idea I had for a little DIY, I guess you can call it. This is a frame um, with some like chicken wire on it that I have used for centerpieces on my dining room table or in the hallway, you know, all around the house. Um, I've been using it forever, but I need something for like my fashion earrings. You know those earrings that you just wear every day? Not really your good jewelry, but the ones that you just wear day in and day out. Because what happens is they tend to get piled up in a little container like this and they get all jumbled together and they get all tangled and it, it's not what I want to do. So I came up with this idea to hang this here up on the wall and to hang all my individual earrings on here and just to see, you know, how that works out for me. Well, as you can see, that didn't take very long to get this hung up on the wall and to take all my individual earrings that I tend to wear most of the time during the week and hang them up on a little chicken wire. And I'm really hoping that this works out well for me. I will let you know. Um, so far I think it's a great idea and it's kind of hidden here behind my bedroom door. So I will let you know how this works out. So while I am waiting for it to snow, I thought I would start on dinner. We are making um, beef stew today and this is a very forgiving recipe. You can add as much meat, as many potatoes, or as many carrots as you want. I will put the full recipe down below, a full post on this on my blog at mybashfullife.com. So what you're going to need for this recipe is a large onion chopped, about six or seven celery stalks chopped, about a 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. You can probably get away with a smaller amount, but I like to have a large can um, depending on how much of everything that I add, I want to have enough sauce to cover it all. Um, you really should be using beef broth. I couldn't find any at the store, which I thought was really odd. So I just got myself some vegetable broth, and I have like two beef bouillon cubes that I'm going to toss in with it. I have here about a half a pound of um, beef stew meat. I have about five red potatoes. A whole bunch of carrots, we love carrots, in our stew. I have some Worcestershire sauce, some garlic powder, salt and pepper. I have a little white wine, and I have some bay leaf, and some rosemary, and some basil. So to get ourselves started, I have a, a big tablespoon of butter in my pan with some olive oil. And I have some regular flour here, and I have my beef all prepared. I have it very well seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So I'm gonna turn my pan on uh, to about, oh, I guess a little bit like medium high heat and get my oil and melt my butter. So now that my oil is getting warm and my butter is melted, we're gonna take our pieces of beef and roll them in our flour and then brown them in our pan. big stock pot. I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. I'm getting that all melted and in that I am going to saute my celery and my onions. You have your onions and your celery sauteing and you're going to add about a half a cup of white wine or you can even use red wine, whatever you have. 
Okay, so to my big pot, I'm going to add, I'm going to say at least half of my can of tomato sauce. So I added about three quarters of the can of the tomato sauce, and I am going to add two cups of the broth, and I've added my two beef bouillon cubes. I'm going to mix that all together, and then I'm going to add our browned meat to the big pot. So you're going to want to let this cook for a little bit. You're going to turn the heat up a little bit to bring it to a boil. And then in the meantime, you're going to chop up your potatoes and your carrots. All right, so we have our beef stew cooking away. And I went ahead and I chopped up my carrots and my potatoes. And we're going to take a couple minutes and we're going to season our stew. So as I said before, this is a very forgiving recipe. So I really don't have exact measurements for these spices. You can add more or leave some out, whatever you guys like. But I add some rosemary, which I guess is probably about a half a teaspoon. I add, oh, we're gonna call this about a teaspoon of basil, some garlic powder, probably about a tablespoon, tablespoon of pepper. I'm sorry, <laughs> a teaspoon of pepper about a teaspoon of salt, a couple good shakes of Worcestershire sauce, and as with any tomato dish, you're gonna wanna add a bit of sugar, I would say maybe about a tablespoon, and then you can go ahead and add your carrots and potatoes. So as I added my um, potatoes and carrots, I'm going to add the remainder of the tomato sauce, and enough broth to cover all the vegetables. I'm going to give it a good stir and I'm going to turn it up to probably almost to high so we can get it to boil. And once it gets to a boil, we're going to simmer it for about an hour. So this is what our beef stew looks like when it is all finished and plated up. We like to eat ours with a big green salad and some nice crusty bread. You can find this full recipe in the information bar below and on my blog at mybastrallife.com. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you will hit that subscribe button. We have a bunch of new and fun videos coming your way really soon. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other and I will see you again soon. Bye!